bore da a chloeso in boreol wedi. Good morning and welcome to our morning prayer. Today's psalm is Psalm 91 verses 9 to 16 and this can be found on page 512 and 513 of the daily prayer book. We will be reading from the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 to 12 and also we'll be listening to the Gospel of Mark chapter 10 verses 35 to 45. And the canticle I've chosen this morning is Canticle 9, which can be found on pages 149 and page 148 of the Green Daily Prayer Book. The first hymn I've chosen this morning is a well-known hymn which has also been translated into Welsh. It is called The Servant Song. Our gospel reading talks about being a servant. The way doth do, but that Galeni, a be Galeni. Gwelodh do for the Galeni and tha, a Gwahanodh do a Galeni or the Urth to a shuch, a be hoir, a be bore, a deed kunta. <coughs> we have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving to hear and receive his word, 
to bring before him the needs of the world and to seek his grace, that through his son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. The word of Yesi, a gorchamin kentav, you grando o Israel, er argluid en deu yur inig argluid. Achar er argluid de deu ath hot galon, akath hot enaid, akath hot vedol, akath hot nerth. Er ail yu hun, car de gamadog vel ti de hin. Nid oes gorchamin arall mwy na'r rhain. Let us take a moment of silence and seek our Father's pardon and peace as we prepare to confess our sins. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, and we have not loved others as Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy, forgive us. Help us to amend our lives, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May God our Father, who by our Lord Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to himself and forgives the sins of all who truly repent. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins and grant us the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we continue with our Green Daily Prayer Book on pages 22 and 23. Arglwydd agor ein gwefusau, an genau a fynega dyfoliant. And we'll say together the Vinite from page 143. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come to his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Fiw tragwyddol, molwn di a diolchwn i ti am y dydd pam creais do leini a gweld ei fod yn dda. Y dydd pam darganfynu'r disgyblion i'r bedd gwag a chyfarfod ar crys at, at gyfodedig. Dyma'r dydd a wneithos ti, gorfoleddwn a llawen hawn ynddo. Bendigedig fyddo diw am beth. We now take a moment of silent prayer and reflection on the coming day. The Delchini Gameri Damser or Gwedi Distau Amaverdod Aradith Sididod. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 91. In Psalm Boreba, you psalm now dig again. Gunar in Kavyaun, Shawer and Gavyaun. 
on eu tŷ bydd yr arglwydd yn noddfa, gwneithos dy gorri uchaf yn amddiffynfa. Ni digwydd ni wedi ti, ac ni ddaw pla yn agos i'th babell. Oherwydd rhydd o'r chymun i'w'r angelion, i'th gadw yn dy holl ffyrdd. Byddent yn dy godi ar eu dwylo, rhag i ti daro dy droed yn erbyn carreg. Byddent troedio ar y llew a'r asp, ac yn saethru'r llew i fanc a'r sarf. A mi ddo lynu wrthu fe gwaredu, fe diogelaf, am fe fod yn adnabod fe enw. Pan fydd yn galw arna fe hatebaf, bydda fi gydag ef mewn cyfyngder, gwaredaf ef a'i anrhydeddu. Digon efaf ef a hir ddyddiau, a gwna fi ddo fwynhau a fe iachaw dwriaeth. Gwgoniant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oesoi. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 4 to 12. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that was made us whole, and by his bruises we were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that was led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice, he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. He made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring and shall prolong his days. Through him, the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish, he, so, she, he shall see light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will allot him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out himself to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We'll now read the Gospel Cantica, the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. The Lord has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebearers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous before him all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet to the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Mark. Daurair the Llenyad o Vengil and all St. Mark. Grandeu har avengil Christ in all Sant Mark, gogoniant i ti o arglwydd. Et iago ac Ioan, meibion Zebedei, sato, a dweud wrtho, allro, a rydym am i ti wneud yr un i ni y peth o fy nhw'n genit. Mi ddau yntau wrthynt, beth yr ydych am i ni i wneud i chwi? A dywyd y sant wrtho, Dy rhoi ni gael eistedd, un ar y llaw dde ac un ar y llaw chwith yn dy ogoniant. Ac meddai esu wrthynt, nid wyddwch beth yr ydych yn ei ofyn. A allwch chi yfed y cwban y rwy fi yn ei yfed, neu gael eich bydyddio ar bedydd y bydyddu'r fi ag ef? Dy wedi asant hwythau wrtho, gallwn. Ac meddai esu wrthynt, cewch yfed y cwban y rwyf yn ei yfed, a bydyddu'r chwi a'r bedydd a bydyddu'r fi a gef. Ond eistedd ar y llaw dde neu ar fy llaw chwith, nid gen i fi y mae'r hawl i'w rhoi. Y mae'n perthyn i'r rhai y mae wedi ei darparu ar eu cyfer. Am glywodd y deg. Daeth ar nhw'n ddig wrth Iago a Ioan. Galwodd Iesu hwy ato a meddai wrthynt. Gwyddwch fod y rhai a ystyr yn llywodraethwyr ar y cenhedloedd yn arglwydaethau arnynt. A gwyr mawr hwy i ddangos eu hawdurdod drosynt. Onid felly y mae eich plith chwi. Yn hytrach pwy bynnag sydd am fod yn fawr yn eich plith, rhaid iddo fod yn was i chwi, a pwy bynnag sydd am fod yn fleinach yn eich plith, rhaid iddo fod yn geithwas i bawb. Oherwydd mab y dyn yntau, ni ddaeth i gael ei wasanaethu, ond i wasanaethu, ac i rhoi ei einioes yn bridwerth dros rawer. Dyma y fengil yr arglwydd, moliant i ti o grist. Today's homily has been adapted from a book called Fresh from the Word by Rosalind Brown. We are going to be talking about the two readings that we have read this morning, Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 4 to 12, and the Gospel of Mark, chapter 30, verses 35 to 45. But also in your own time, please take time to read the third reading for today, the letter of Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 1 to 10. never spares the disciples' blushes, whereas the other gospel writers tend to soft pedal when describing their failures and muddles. Mark has no such sensitivities. This week's gospel reading jars with the other two readings of Isaiah, which you already heard, and Hebrews chapter 5 verses 1 to 10, which you can read yourself later which speak of the suffering of God's servant. And with this whole middle section of Mark's gospel, ranging from chapter eight, verse 27, right through to chapter 10, verse 45, 
which began with Jesus' first prediction of his suffering and ends with his emphasis that the, his way involves being a servant, indeed a slave of all people. Middle section of Mark seesaws constantly between Jesus' words about suffering, service, and welcome him in a child, and the dis disciples' arguments about greatness on their blundering attempts to exclude someone who acted as Jesus did. The juxtaposition is painfully uncomfortable. Jesus has tried to settle the debate about greatness by putting a child in front of the disciples as their example, which we heard a few weeks ago in Mark 9, chapter, 30, Mark chap chapter 9, verses 33 to 37. And then James and John's request, however, shows that the debate was still going on behind his back. Dictionary omit Jesus' third description of his coming death and the response of amazement and fear that it elicited. Once again, the disciples failed to support Jesus as he faced impending suffering. Matthew's version of the story has James and John's mother asking about seats in glory on their behalf. But in Mark, these sons of thunder ask for themselves, thereby indicating how well Jesus knew them when giving them that nickname. They pushed their luck, wanting a guaranteed answer before they revealed the question and can hardly have been surprised when Jesus recast the question and the others were furious with them. In answering James and John, Jesus reversed all the norms of greatness. The same thing happens in the passage we heard from Isaiah, part of a servant song, which we hear in a very different context form from its unusual one from Good Friday. Justice is perverted and the innocent servant suffers and is cut off from the land of the living. Far from the throne in glory that the brothers want, this grave is with the wicked. Worse, it appears that God is complicit in this, but then comes with great reversal. The righteous one will make many righteous and be allotted a portion with great. Why? Because he poured himself out to death and made intercession for the transgressors. When you read the reading from Hebrews, you will see it picks up the theme with another unimaginable turnaround. Jesus offered loud cried and tears to the one who could save him from death and he was heard. Yet the recipients of the letter knew that he had died. Could both be true? Then comes the answering paradox. He learned obedience though what he, through what he suffered. We know that is very hard as everything in us rebels against suffering, especially unjust suffering. Jesus became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. That obedience word again, being designated by God a high priest forever, thus taking the, taking the th through back to the beginning of the reading. We obey the one who learned obedience. A little phrase at the beginning of the epistle help us to link all this together. He is able to deal greatly with the ignorant and wayward. Unlike willful sin, the Bible treats ignorance and waywardness with mercy. Jesus' response to the disciples suggests that he recognized probably wearily that they were still ignorant rather than rebellious or disobedient. His deconstruction of the only models of leadership they knew was too radical and too new. 
This theme of, theme of ignorance being met kindly underlines the post communion prayer for today, the 20th Sunday after Trinity. God of our Father, whose Son, the light unfailing, has come from heaven to deliver the world from the darkness of ignorance. Let those holy mysteries open the eyes of our understanding, that we may know the way of the life and walk in it without stumbling. Put alongside the vivid imagery of the collect, as the Holy Spirit wells up within the church, the fact that Mark paints a severe picture of James, John and the other disciples becomes a consolation. Despite their ignorance and waywardness, the, the Holy Spirit welling up in our mists can turn our ignorance into eagerness to do God's will and to share the joys of eternal life. The very thing that James and John's learned that they could not monopolize. Amen. Canticle I've chosen this morning is Canticle 9. Mawr yw'r arglwydd a theilwng iawn o fawr. Rhi llygaid pawb mewn gobaith at a ti, ac fe roi iddynt eu bywyd yn eu bryd. Y mae dy law yn agored ac yr wyt yn diwallu popeth byw yn ôl ei awyllus. Y mae'r arglwydd yn gyfiawn yn, yn ôl holl ffyrdd ac yn ffyddlon yn ei holl weithredoedd. Y mae'r arglwydd yn agos y bawb sy'n galw arno, at bawb sy'n galw arno mewn gwirionedd. Gwnaedd y miniad yr rhai sydd yn ei ofni, gwrendid ar y rhai cri a goreda hwy. Llefara fy ngenau'n foliant yr arglwydd, a bydd pob creadur yn bendithio i enw sanctaidd, bydd bythoedd. Mawr yw arglwydd a theilwng iawn o fawl. We shall now affirm our faith by saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Gwerthion, let us pray. On this, the 20th Sunday after Trinity, we are asked to pray for the staff, volunteers and congregations of the churches of Llanfyrnach and Llanglidwen. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we are also asked to pray for the church in the province of West Indies. Let us pray for the church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Gweddiwn dros eglwys ddiw yng Nghrist Iesu, a thros bawb yn ôl eu hangen. O ddiw creawdwr a chynhaliwr pawb, gweddiwn dros bobloedd o bob hil ac o bob math o angen. Hysbysad y ffyrdd ar y ddeiar, dy allu a chybol ymhyth yr holl genhedloedd.
we pray for your church throughout the world. Guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that all Christian people may be led to the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. We commend to your fatherly goodness all who are anxious or distressed in mind, body or spirit. Comfort and relieve them in their need. Give them patience in their sufferings and bring good out of their troubles. And this morning we have been asked to pray for Mildred, Muriel, Jean and Bert, Will, Carwen and Cecil, Peggy, Arwen and Anita, Elsie, Mike and Helen, Jeff and Anne, Adrian and Faye, Jill, Ian, Martha, Bai and Lynn, Mary, Joan, Ruth, Peter and family, Simon, Wendy, Lynette, Ella, Dudley, Peter and baby Charlie. We also bring to you, Lord, all those who are not on our list, but known to you who need your help. We entrust to your gracious keeping all who have died in the faith of Christ. Grant us with them a share in your kingdom. And this morning we particularly pray for little Ava Maria, who was tragically killed in a car accident. For Sir David Ames, who was tragically stabbed while doing his work. For Helen and John, and we pray for all the departed and their families in this difficult time. Dros Joanna and Hescob, a holl winidogion dros holl i'r lod ar eglwys, dan nad anghofio a neun deon, a fawb sy'n gwasanaethu yn ein ardal winidogaetho leol. Holl y lliog ddiw, a ddawodd dyfa pan byddwn yn dod ynghyd yn ei enw ac yn gweddio yn ôl i'w ollus, y bydd ef yn ein plith ac yn clywed ein gweddi. In your love and mercy, fulfil our desires and give us your greatest gift, which is to know you, the only true God and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we shall say together in the language of our choice, Gwedir Arglwydd, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, ein tad, yr hwnwyt yn y nefoedd, sancteiddi'r denw, deled y deyrnas, gwneud dywyllus, megis yn y nef, felly ar y ddeiar hefyd. Dyroi ni heddiw ein bara bainyddiol, a maddau ni ein dyledion, fel y myddaiwn unna i'n dyledwyr, Ac nac ar wai ni brofedigaeth, eith i'r gwared ni rhag drwg, can i seiddo tiwr deyrnas a'r nerth a'r gogoniant yn oes oesoedd. Amen. The collects for today. A collect am heddi. God, the giver of life, whose Holy Spirit wells up within your church, by the Spirit's gifts, equip us to live the gospel of Christ 
and make us eager to do your will, that we may share with the whole creation the joys of eternal life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Collect for peace, collect am dangnefeth. O ddiw awdyr tangnefeth a charwr cytundeb, y mae dydd nabod di yn fywyd tragwyddol, a thwasanaethu yn rhyddid perffaith. Am ddiffyn ni rhag holl ymysodiadau ein gylynion, fel lan unain llwyr ymddyried yn dynodded, nad ofn nhw'n allu neb o'n gwrthwynebwyr, trwy iesu grist ein harglwydd. Amen. And let us say together the collect for grace. O Lord and Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for bringing us safely to the beginning of this new day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger, and enable us in everything to do only what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I now have a few announcements to make. These are the church and online services for Sunday the 24th of October, which is the last Sunday after Trinity. Lorna and Halewen will be leading morning prayer on Facebook at 9. Eirith will be leading morning prayer in Llanllwch at 9.30. Anne and Martine will be in St. Stephen for Holy Eucharist at 9.45. Also at 9.45, morning prayer at Maidrim with the wardens leading it. Peter will be in St. Clair's for Holy Eucharist at 10. And Lorna will be in Abernant at 10.30 for Holy Eucharist. Anne will also be in St. Viangel at 11.15 for Holy Eucharist with Carol in Merthyr at 9.15 for Holy Eucharist. Lorna and Martine will be leading Holy Eucharist on Zoom at 12 p.m. and Carol will be at Lan for evening prayer at 6 p.m. On Tuesday the 19th at 11 a.m. we will be still holding our weekly messages on Facebook and this week we will be listening to the Reverend Ariel Howells as it is the day after the Feast of Luke the Evangelist. On Tuesday the 19th, also at 7 p.m., we have Cafe Church. And I have put some things together also because it's the day after Luke the Evangelist who was, who was the physician. If you would like to join us, just drop us a message and we can um, send you the link. And what we are doing is we are looking at a passage from the Bible and just discussing it and seeing its relevance to today's life. On Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m., morning prayer will be led by Anne on Facebook. Coffee afternoon on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. They're still going ahead, so if you would like to join us, please ask and we can send you the link. The next meeting of the Knit and Chat at Llanlwg Church Hall will be on Friday the 22nd of October, and this is run between 10 and 12. Please contact Sean or Esther to book your place. The LMA have a ch Christmas gift stall to raise money for our LMA at St. Peter's Church Christmas Fair on Saturday the 20th of November. We are looking for contributions of hand handmade items to sell, such as crafts, woodwork, cards, jams, knitted items, some things like that. We'll also need some help to man the stall on the day. If you could please contact Aerith if you have any contributions or if you're able to help on the day. We're looking for people to be on the stall for about an hour at a time. And all profits will be going towards our own LMA of Bro St. Clair. The date has been decided for the licensing of the Reverend Justin Arnott as priest in charge for the LMA and also for the Reverend Adam Bruce as associate priest in the LMA. This will be held on Monday the 1st of November at 7pm in St Martin's Church, Larne. 
We're also hoping to try and live stream this on Facebook and onto Zoom. So if you do want to join and um, come along but can't come to the church, let us know and we can see what we can do on that. As we bring our service to a conclusion, let's just, just take a moment of silence. dad, a gallu rim ar waith yn om neud yn antfeiriol fwy na dim y gallwn ni i ddyfeisi neu ddychmygni, ein crofhau ar beryd rindod ein ffydd. Amen. God the Son, who was lifted up from the earth, that he might draw all people to him, reconcile us to one another and to God. Amen. Byddai di ddiw rysbryd glan, sy'n ein tywys i bob gwirionedd, ein tynnu ynghyd i gari a moli diw. Amen. Yr ar arglwydd a fo gyda chwi, the Lord be with you, and also with you. Bendithiwn yr arglwydd, let us bless the Lord, i ddiw bor diolch, thanks be to God. Before we sing our final hymn, I would like to thank you all for joining me this morning. I will be back with you on Remembrance Sunday. Diolch yn fawr i chi gyd am ymuno fi bore yma, ddau nôl gyda chi ar sîl y cofiol.